Welcome back to another laggy episode of Spanish Class. Today I am in the nether. My concert thick and arm. Michael's gonna be joining me s soon. I think he's on his way here now. Um, but I just came to the port of the nether. I think it's time to gather some quartz, some resources and stuff. Maybe get some blazes, uh, head to another fortress if I can find one, and start progressing more in Minecraft. So that's what I'm going to start off this episode. If anything happens, like my death or some gas, I'll make sure to record it. But until then, I will be gathering some boring resources, like mining out all this stuff super fast, and we'll see you guys pretty soon. Oh, there's our first ghast. Let's go. This thing's going down. Um, basically, you just snipe with the fireball. Like, that's one shot, one kill. Oh, no. <laughs> that would have been so cool. But I didn't get it. Okay, and you gotta make sure he's not above lava. There we go. Got the return to... Oh, that was close. Almost died. Oh, oh, almost died again. Die. Okay. Got the gas here. Now oh, Mike thinks he's so cool. He's already got the chief. Gast number two. Going down. He's in a lava stream. Think the item's burned. No, that's a tear. We got this. Don't die this time. Last time. If maybe. Yep, yeah, definitely safe. Okay, there's the tier. I think I hear another ghast. Let's go kill him too. I'm coming for you, big boy. Oh, he sees me now. Oh, yeah. Just missed that one. He's over. I don't want to kill him because he's over the thing. I almost just did. Um, I don't think I'm getting this. I think he's kind of... Ow. Okay, I might die. Don't want to die. Fire? I heard it made the noise. Okay, yeah, he's hiding. He's hiding. Alright, they've learned the, um... Oh, gosh. That hurts. It's like gorilla tactics. Oh, no, 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 Nope. Ah! Gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal. Okay, so it's like gorilla tactics hiding behind that lava stream. That was crazy. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 he's up there. Did I get him? Aw. He's moving. He's moving. Heck? Gas just despawned. Huh. Oh, we're not killing him. Well, I died. Um, I got trapped in lava that started moving quicker than water. It was like weirdest thing and that's my Skype. So, um, yeah, I think we just lost everything because I was really, really far away. And I'm going to try to find it. But as I said, I was really, really far away. I don't even know where I was. Which is the problem. Um, to hit the record button, but I didn't have it up. But essentially what happened is that I, like, kind of ran into lava, so I, like, jumped out, and I had, like, two hearts, and I'm like, okay, so I just mine around it. And I broke a block, and the lava filled, like, four blocks in less than half a second. Um, uh, horizontally. It was so weird. It was, like, going faster, or it was going as fast as water. Like, it wasn't even creeping slowly at all. It was instantaneous. Um, which was completely awful, but I'm gonna go back through, try to get my stuff. If I don't, I'm gonna be really annoyed because I had efficiency for four pickaxe, and I just spent, like, the last 30 minutes getting glowstone and, um, quartz. So I'm gonna try to do that, and I'll be right back to you guys. So I actually knew where I was much better than I thought. I'm actually just realizing that I lost 21 levels. Or 27 levels, which is horrible. 
So that's the thing. But it seems like I have... I mean, I don't have a chest plate. Maybe the chest plate died. It looks like every, nothing fell into the lava, really. Um, oh, my diamond pickaxe did. That definitely did. Okay, so I don't have anywhere to break blocks. That's a thing. But, you know what? Oh, and all my food. But I think that's, like, I mean, I think I got all my glowstone and, um, quartz back. As you can see, this is what I have. You can see four pickaxes. So, so, what I'm going to do is that this is actually what killed me. So, I broke this block. We're going to do it again. Yeah, look how fast that is. I mean, I was not expecting lava to be that fast. I mean, it was instantaneous. Like, you know, lava normally flows, like, slowly. Like, I saw that, and then it just kept coming at me. Gosh, it's weird. Yeah. I'm going to head back. Um, I kind of need a pickaxe to actually do anything. And I'm going to safely store the items now that I had this encounter with death. We were up to 12 deaths. But uh, that wasn't the worst thing in the world. It could have gone much worse. I could have lost all the stuff that I got. So I'm going to head all the way back. Hello there, the first magma cream for me to see. How are you doing today? Good. Well, it's about to be worse because you're going to die. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, so glad they did not fall into lava. I just need to worry about these little ones now. Good. That item did not fall into lava either. And now I just murder all the little babies. Die, babies. Sorry, babies. You have to die because you hurt me. Thank you, babies. Bye. God, what is happening? What is happening? I keep getting teleported back and forth in the nether. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Um. Well, we kind of made it to the overworld. Be teleported back. Okay, well, I'm gonna restart Minecraft. Okay, with a nice little Minecraft restart, I am good and I'm back in the real world and I'm on with Ultimate Gur. It's all cool, might get off. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna get back up to the base and get ready for the next part of this video. Hello, welcome back. So, um, I'm tired of using torches and I've always said this to myself in a lot of my worlds. I'm like, why don't I just make Get rid of all the torches and make a nice little um, lighting system. Because I always wanted to make like a lighting system. That was cool. That was good. So I decided just to do that. Why not? Why not not right now? So that's the reason I got all that glowstone in the nether. Uh, the quartz was for something else. And I think I'm going to use this design as we get the as the chickens get really loud. Um, I need to go to music and sounds. Uh, uh, friendly creatures. Okay. Much better. So I think I'm going to use this design. Um, I'm not... We can maybe change it up. I'm not sure if I like it. It looks kind of kind of sleek, kind of nice, and the redstone's hidden, um, as you see right here. But I don't want to, like, block the view. As you can see, this is, like, blocking the view right here. So I think what instead I'm going to do um, at the edges is just put them along um, near the top of this wall, and it should sh be able to shine up. Um, I don't know what, what level here torch that and the light from this should impact the top a bit and make it brighter so i'm going to space these along i'm going to go throughout my base and start getting those set up and i'm going to do a nice little montage of it Sun is magically up higher in the sky. Well, welcome back. I just noticed it's daytime, so I can't see where the shadows are uh, for any of this. But what I am going to do is that I can hook up all of this redstone now, which is going to be fun to find all the lamps underground. So I'm going to go do that, and I'm going to also have to figure out how to hook it up to the daylight sensor. So, um, I have one daylight sensor, so what's the point of making another? So what I was thinking is maybe we can just use one daylight sensor, um for every daylight sensor thingy mabob that we will ever need. I don't know. Um, 
It might be pretty cool. Just have a ton of redstone going out of this room. But, let's see. So we're gonna have... I need more redstone. I only have 16 on me. Some more. Do I happen to have any other... Oh, I guess I'm just gonna craft some more of those repeaters. Need more torches. Let's make five. So, redstoning time, and I'm gonna turn my Minecraft sounds down. Um, it's sounding pretty loud to me. So let's head over, and we need to connect this all up. So, daytime right now. Daytime redstone will wear off um, when it turns to nighttime. So I don't exactly know where I should put it. Um, I need to find where it's where where it wears off already. It goes to like here. It's like halfway through the day. Be about the max point. So the lake here. Just taking a random guess. Um this is all good because it can be moved. I just need to move wherever the torch is coming off up or down this line. I am lagging really bad. That server lag. Oh, there we go. So torch here, and we'll just guess that's the uh, correct distance for now. So this has got to run up. Um, so when this happens, all the lights are going to turn on. So what I want to do is I want to run this piece of redstone up to all the lights. Now, what might be cool if we can make them like flicker on, and I think flickering on is, would be pretty cool. So make it like flicker a couple times and then turn on. And how that would work, um, Something with and and or gates, and I'm not exactly sure how to make that, so I'm basically just going to put our redstone string around here. I'm going to mess with it for like 5-10 minutes until I make the output work, essentially, it. So, yeah, why am I still talking? Let's get started. Okie dokie, so I think I got it to work. For some reason, I have a really big trouble explaining redstone as I do it, because I kind of mess around, delete a lot of things, and uh, redo stuff, but I think I got it. And it's kind of messy, kind of huge, but I can go back in later and fix it up. But essentially what we have is that it's on right now, it's daytime. So when this torch turns off, what's going to first happen is you see we have delayers here. So what first happens is this thing gets powered and it starts a clock. So this clock, we'll say this is the output, we see this turning on or off. A little bit later, we see this thing power, and then the torch is on, off. So it starts from on to flickering to off is what this does. You see it's on right now. The reason on is the off state, as you can see I have inverted it right here, is that we already have the torches powering all of the um, uh, blocks. We already have the torches powering all of the rest of the lamps, so therefore this is the off state actually for turning them off. So it's daytime, they should be off, and then when it turns to nighttime they should flicker on and then stay on. And then also... Um, because of that logic, actually no, this turns off second. Um, they just turn back. They just turn off during daytime. I think. I think. I'm not completely sure. I'll look into that. But anyways, now after the fun task of just running a redstone stream up to all the lamps, I'm not gonna worry about making them all turn on at the same time. I think that'll be a cooler effect too for the flickering. But I'm gonna make tunnels all over the place and connect up all of our lamps. Okay, so it is nighttime and I want to see this in action, and I seem to have missed it because uh, it was a, bit, a little bit too late. If we look over here, the lamp is on, and this redstone stream uh, is already off, so I missed it sadly. Um, but let's see, switch this thing and kill all those chickens. Aha, uh -huh. yes. So I have just inverted the daylight sensor so that it is now um, sensing darkness instead of light. That's what you can do by right-clicking it. So we, we see that this is, light is off. So if I turn this on, um, the light turns on. Okay, I think the pulse, the redstone signal, is a little bit too fast. If we look at that again, died. Um... Yeah, pulse is a bit too fast. You saw the light flickering really, really fast. Um, 
so that was a mistake. I should have expected that. All I have to do is flick that a few times. Maybe this has to be longer too. But now if we come back here and I test this out again. Off. Chicken. We have it off. And then on. The redstone's just been really glitchy. Try it again. Not want to flicker. Oh, there we go. There you go. You just saw it. I just flickered. Turn off now. And flicker. Okay. It's flickering. It just doesn't want to work well at all. Now, what I think I'm going to do is maybe make that a bit slower, which means I'm going to need to add some more delayers. And hopefully, we're not going to reach a time of day where um, the flicking of that does not work. But anyways, delayers, um, give it some more time to flicker before the final blah, thing. This, this guy messes it up. So, carve out a little area back here. Go in. Ah. Base blocks. No, I don't want to flick you. It's flickering all over the place right now. Okay. Stone. There. That block there so I don't mess anything up. Should go over this way. Anything important? Let's go with that. Okay, there we go. Power that. And now I just need to make sure that I did not run into the redstone over here. And it looks like we are good. Yep. Okay. Take like seven or eight. And I'll flick these back a bit. I should flick the other one back too. Add a bit more delay on the on and offs. Okay. Still not time. Hopefully we're still good. So I'll flick that. It's off. Okay. Flick it again. Lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off, lights on. Okay. It's still glitchy. I'm going to see if that's a server error or something on my end. Um, if I turn the light off. It. That turned the light off. Okay, so if I hit it and look at the actual redstone, you can see it is flickering. It's just very glitchy. So I think it's something either in the um, current snapshot or with just the server handling it. I'll look into that. But I'm going to wire it up to everything else because, of course, you still need them turning on or off by a daylight. And I will get back to you guys. So I have done it. They are all currently off. And now all I have to do is when it turns to nighttime, or in this case daytime, that's not going to work as I unplugged it to make sure they're off. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a derp moment. I already know that was edited. Okay. It works. It's bad. Stay out. Stone thing, and I can't even find the way through it. Okay. So, they're all off, it's daytime. Um, if I change it to nighttime, all on, except those, and that one. Dang it. Where there is a. Oh, I know what's happened. Something's powering itself. It's over here. Self. Aha! That. That block is going to that, and that's keeping up the signal. It's going to be something bad. Okay. Out of this mess. And those were kind of hard to wire because they're all so close together, which you wouldn't think they were on the outside, but there's actually not a lot of space in here. But we have all of our lights on, but let's set it back to the normal setting. 
and they should turn off. So I'm just going to double check at the what exact daytime or what exact time they are going to turn on, see if that's corresponding right to the night thing. Time, daytime, I cannot talk. But anyways, if you remember in the beginning of the redstoning, um, when I could replace that first torch to change the time of day when they turn on, I'm just going to double check what time that is, and I think we are done. Um, problem is, is that redstone seems to be affecting this trap. Oh well. And fix that thing. You can see Ultimate Gur has been working on her lovely house over there. Mike and Zerthic haven't been playing much. Um, the playtime they have, they haven't really been spending all, at all, just mining resources. But I think that's probably going to wrap up this episode. Some cool nether stuff, some cool lighting systems. I'm going to get into some storage room making and some community shop making and some work on the community area down there in the next couple of episodes. But Thank you for watching, and I'm going to do a montage of what time these t lights turn on for the end of the video. I want to thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. Oh, those lights turn on just a bit too early. I'm hopefully going to catch it by before the night turns or by it gets too dark. So what actually should happen is that we should be... Oh. Maybe over further. So I have to break this and then put a block there. That should be better. That should turn on a bit closer to daytime. This is really going to wrap up this episode if you stayed around for this extra little bonus part. Thank you for watching again, and see ya.